Magandang, 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 magandang araw po sa ating lahat and welcome to the YSB channel. So, this is my first ever study vlog and I hope you will learn something from me. Ginawa po itong vlog na to para po alam niyo po kung paano po ako magturo. So, we will have a special topic para sa vlog na to. Unahan ko na kayo guys, I don't have credentials pa. Kagraduate pa lang po ako ng uh, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. Um... DOSD scholars. Wala po akong honors or sayo, wala akong credentials pa. Okay. So, sa ngayon, wala pa tayong ganun. Pero bakit po ako nag-vlog? Um, I just want to share my knowledge on how I understand things and solve things on my own way. Okay? Kasi po minsan, ang hirap sumabay sa classmates natin. Especially pagka sobrang or mas mabilis silang pumikap. Okay? So, minsan, mahirap makasabay. Um, personally, pag po ganun yung nangyari, gumagawa po ako ng sarili kong way para makapag-solve ng mga bagay-bagay. At kung paano ko po siya naintindihan, ganun ko po siya itinuturo. So, samahan niyo po ako sa pag-aaral po natin ng uh, topic na to at sa mga susunod po pong videos. Thank you, mga manok. So, our special topic for today's vlog is about binomial expansion using Pascal's triangles. I am Kim, your study buddy. Ang Pascal's triangle ay ginagamit sa binomial expansion. So, para maintindihan natin kung paano ginagamit yung Pascal's triangle, kailangan alam muna natin ano yung binomial expansion. So, dun muna tayo sa part ng binomial. Binomial is basically two terms joined by addition or subtraction. So, for example, meron tayong x plus y dito. Pwede ring a plus b, 3x plus y squared, or x minus y, or 3a minus 4b, or b squared minus c squared. Ang binomial expansion naman is result ng binomial pag ni-raise mo siya sa specific na exponent. Okay, for example, x plus y raised to 2. So, this is a binomial raised a specific na exponent. The binomial expansion of these terms is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So, para malaman natin kung paano siya nangyayari, paano siya sinasol, we will use the Pascal's Triangle. Kaya po siya tinawag na Pascal's Triangle dahil ang gumawa nito ay si Blaise Pascal. Thank you mga manok. Support. And it is shaped like a triangle. So, sa pick po nating part ng Pascal's Triangle, yun po yung result ng x plus y raised to 0. So, pansin nyo, x plus y raised to 0 is equal to 1. Dahil any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, yung pinakataas ng Pascal's Triangle, 1. So, kung papansin nyo, yung mga sides ng hanggang pababa ng triangle is equal to 1. Pasensya na po kayo sa mga manok na sumusuporta sa akin. Ayan. So, paano ba natin gagawin yung Pascal's Triangle? Madaling madali lang po siya. So, meron niyang pattern. etong susunod na layer, which is 1 at 1, pag pinag-add niyo po yan, equal po yan sa 2. Tupet na 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Yes, very good. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Tapos, magdalagay lang po kayo ng 1 on both sides. Try natin gawin itong layer ng x plus y raised to 5. Lagay muna tayo ng 1 on both sides. Tapos, 1 plus 4 equal po sa 5. 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So, ganun na po kadali gumawa ng Pascal's Triangle. Pupunta na po tayo sa pinakapaborito nating part at yun po ay ang pagsusol. This is it guys. So, madali lang naman guys. Mas maintindihan natin siya sa examples po nating gagawin ngayon. So, sa pagsusol po ng binomial expansion using Pascal's Triangle, tandaan nyo lang po itong steps na to. Numerical coefficient, First term, exponent, countdown. Second term, exponent, countdown. And then, simplify. Madali lang, guys. And gagawin po natin siya ngayon. So, let's uh, get a specific layer. Yung x plus y raised to 3. 
meron po siyang numerical coefficients na 1, 3, 3, 1. So, what is the first step? So, ang first step po natin is ilalagay daw muna natin yung ating po mga numerical coefficients. So, 1, 3, 3, at saka 1. Next, ay kukunin mo daw po yung first term, which is x. Tapos, raise it to the exponent outside, then count down. Paano ba mag-count down? 3, 2, 1, and 0. Sunod, kunin mo daw yung next na term, which is y. Tapos, raise mo din sa exponent outside. Then, count down. y cubed, y squared, y raised to 1, and y raised to 0. So, ano po yung operation na gagamitin natin? Dahil addition lang naman yan, gamitin natin yung addition. So, lagyan natin ng plus, plus, and plus. So, we will have to simplify this. Tapos, makukuha na natin yung answer. So, basically, y raised to 0 is equal to 1. x raised to 0 is equal to 1. y raised to 1 ay y na lang. Sa algebra, um, understood na na meron na siyang 1 exponent at saka 1 na numerical coefficient. So, ganun din po yung x raised to 1 x na lang siya. So, pag sinimplify po natin to, 1 times x cubed is equal to x cubed. x cubed. Plus, 3 times x squared times y is equal to 3x squared y. Plus, 3xy squared plus y cubed. And, guys, this is the answer. So, this is the binomial expansion of x plus y raised to 3. Parang hindi pa kami naniniwala eh. Parang hindi naman totoo yung mga sinasabi mo. Okay, so we will have another example and we will move on to the next layer. So, let's have x plus y raised to 4. And, meron siya numerical coefficients na 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. So, let's solve this. Ano nga yung una natin gagawin, guys? So, let's take the numerical coefficients. 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. Then, let's have the first term, which is x. Raise natin sa exponent outside. x raised to 4. Then, count na. x cubed, x squared, x raised to 1, or x na lang. That's x raised to 0. Nilagyan na natin ng 1. Tapos, kunin naman natin yung next na term, which is yung y. Raise it to the exponent outside. Then, count down. y raised to 4, y cubed, y squared, y raised to 1, and y raised to 0. Then, let's put the addition sign, since puro addition lang naman po siya. Then, let us simplify. We know that y raised to 0 is equal to 1. x raised to 0 is equal to 1. And now, we will simplify. So, we will have 1 times x raised to 4 is x raised to 4 plus 4x cubed y plus 6x squared y squared plus 4xy cubed plus y raised to 4. And there we have it. The answer. So, guys, ito na po yung answer. So, dagdag kaalaman lang po yung degree po ng bawat term, dapat po ay equal dun sa exponent na nasa labas. Paano yung mangyayari? Pag pinag-add nyo po dapat, yung 4 plus 0, equal po siya dapat sa 4. Yung 3 plus 1, pag pinag-add nyo, equal din dapat siya sa 4. Importante po yan, yung degree ng bawat term, dapat equal siya dun sa exponent outside. Dahil feeling ko, nag-gets na talaga siya, try nyo po na isolve tong nasa screen, yung next layer, which is yung x plus y raised to 5. Nandiyan na rin yung numerical coefficient niya. You can post the video, tapos tingnan nyo yung answer after. Okay, so the answer is, at kung ganyan po yung inyo pong kasagutan, congratulations, you have understood Pascal's triangle. Natapos po tayo dun sa easy examples. Punta naman po tayo dun sa medyo may hirap na po nating examples. Average na yung kanyang hirap. We have here quantity 2x plus 1 raised to 3. At gagamitin pa rin natin yung numerical coefficients na 1, 3, 3, 1. 
Pero, magiging multipliers na sila nung binomial expansion. Paano yun? Okay, medyo nalilito na kami. Wait lang guys, chill. Kaya-kaya natin to. So, let's have 2x plus 1 raised to 3. First, yung numerical coefficients. 1, 3, 3, and 1. Then, take the first term. Ano ba yung first term na to? Ang first term po nito ay 2x. Magot po yung mga manok. At yung first term natin ay 2x. Lagay natin yung buong 2x sa loob ng isang parenthesis. Tapos, erase natin siya sa 3. Then, count down. Ganun lang din at keep. Yes po, ganun lang din po ang gagawin natin. 2x raised to 1 and 2x raised to 0. Pagkatapos, get the other term. 1, 1 raised to 3, 1 raised to 2. 1 raised to 1 and 1 raised to 0. Tapos, lagyan lang natin siya ng addition sign. Okay, then ulit. 1 raised to 0 is equal to 1. 2x raised to 0 is equal to 1. 1 times 2x raised to 3 is equal to 2 raised to 3 and x raised to 3. So, dapat pala may knowledge na kami dito ng laws of exponents. Yes po. Next is 3 times 2 squared times x squared. Ito yun. Tapos, 1 raised to 1. 1. <laughs> Napakalupit. 3 times 2x. 2x raised to 1 is 2x. Then, 1 raised to 2. 1. 1 times 1 cube 1. Okay. So, let's simplify this. Kaya kaya na natin to. 2 cube x cube is equal to 8x cube plus 3 times 2 raised to 2 or 3 times 4. Itong part na to ay 4. So, 3 times 4 is equal to 12 x squared plus 6 x plus 1. So, this is the answer. Example number 5. We have a plus 2 b raised to 4 and its numerical coefficient. First step, sabihin niyo kung mag-solve. Numerical coefficients muna, 1, 4, 6, 4, at saka 1. Pagkatapos po ay yung first term. At yun ay a raised to 4, tapos count down. a raised to 4, a raised to 3, a squared, a, a raised to 0, lalagay ko pa ba? Hindi na, no. So, equal lang din naman siya sa 1. Pagkatapos po ay 2b, yung 2b. Yung second term natin, erase natin siya sa 4, then 3, 2, 1, and 0. So, hindi ko na siya ilalagay. Tapos, lagyan lang po natin ng addition sign. And we will have our answer, a raised to 4 plus 4 times 2 is 8 a cube b plus 6 a squared oh, times 2 raised to 2 is 4 b squared plus 4 a times 2 cube is equal to 8 ah, ganda ko mag 8 b cube plus 2 raised to 4 is oh, ang na ko nito Tama ba? 2 times 2 is 4, times 2, 8, times 2, 16. Kamuhula. 16b raised to 4. Simplify na natin. a raised to 4 plus 8a cubed. b plus 6 times 4, 24. a squared, b squared plus 4 times 8, 32. a, hi, b cubed plus... 16b raised to 4. So, ito na po yung final answer. And kung na-gets mo na to, sobrang lupit mo na. <laughs> okay, so, 
Next, guys. What if subtraction naman yung operation natin ng binomial? For example, x minus y is to 0. So, wala po na bago sa ating Pascal's triangle. Yun at yun pa rin yung Pascal's triangle natin. Pero, ang mababago lang po ay yung sign. So, let's take this example. For example, kanina, x plus y raised to 3. Ito naman, x minus y raised to 3. So, same siya ng mga terms. x cubed, 3x squared y, 3xy squared y cubed. Ang may iba lang po, ay yung kanyang sign. Tatandaan nyo lang po, alternate na sign starting from positive. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Tapos, yun yung answer niya. So, ang pinakang answer nito is x cubed minus 3x squared y plus 3x y squared minus y cubed. Madali lang siya, kaya mabilis lang yung topic ng subtraction. Another example, x minus 2y raised to 4. Gawin natin yung steps. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. The first term, x raised to 4, x cubed, x squared, x. Then, let's get the last term. 2y raised to 4, 2y raised to 3, 2y raised to 2, 2y raised to 1, chak 2y raised to 0. Alternate lang, starting from positive, then negative, positive, negative, then positive. So, let's simplify this, guys. 1 times x raised to 4 is x raised to 4, minus 8x cubed y plus 6 times 4, 24. x squared y squared minus 32. x y cubed plus 16 y raised to 4. So, ito na po yung kanyang answer. Okay, so, kayo na bahala dito guys. Magkaroon na kayo ng sarili nyong test. Here it is. Sana po masagutan nyo. Try nyong sagutan sa bahay nyo. Then, comment your answers below. O kaya kahit sa... Basta mapakita nyo sa akin yung answers. That's, that's good. Para lang malaman ko kung naintindihan nyo talaga yung ating lesson for today. And that's it, guys. I just want to say congratulations and I'm proud of you. Good job. Kung naintindihan natin yung special topic natin today, kung may hindi kayo naintindihan, you can comment it down below. Ayun. <laughs> so, sa mga next po nating study vlogs, probably magkakaroon na po tayo ng uh, series ng topic and we will start with algebra. Okay? At kung kakayanin para makatulong po sana sa part ko as a reviewee and also sa part ng uh, ibang graduate or students na nagre-review na, sana makasabay natin yung topic na pre-calculus, which is medyo mahirap, guys. Pero, mali nyo naman, kayanin natin, guys. So, so, samahan nyo po ako sa aking mga susunod pa pong vlogs and I hope you have learned something from me. And kindly subscribe, hit the bell button, and like this video. Thank you and God bless.